In this video, we're going to look at finding the area of a parallelogram. I'm going to start off by drawing a parallelogram and a parallelogram will look something like so. So what we have with a parallelogram are two sets of equal parallel sides. So this side now is equal and parallel to this one. We can show that now that they're parallel with this little arrow. This one and this one are of the same length and parallel, and we can show that those two are parallel with two little arrows. So that is an example of the parallelogram. What I'm going to do is draw a rectangle just here, and next to it, I'm going to draw a parallelogram with the same base length and the same perpendicular height. When we talk about the perpendicular height, we talk about the straight up height. So that is going to be now like so, and that looks okay. What I'm going to say now is that this length is going to be, for example, three centimeters, and this one is going to be seven centimeters. We're going to have a base of seven centimeters and a perpendicular, so a straight up height, rather than the slant height of the side of three centimeters. So we can see now that these have the same dimensions. We've seen that the area of a rectangle can be given as the length times the width, or the base times the perpendicular height. So this would be three times by seven, or seven times by three. Seven times by three will give me 21, and the units are going to be centimeters squared. Whenever you're working out an area, your answer will be in something squared. So examples could be millimeter squared, meter squared, kilometer squared, or just unit squared. What we do here with a parallelogram is exactly the same. We multiply the base by the straight up perpendicular height. These two dimensions are at right angles. So if I continued that line, I'd have a little right angle here. So we can say now that the area is going to be 7 times by 3, which is going to give 21, and that will be centimetres squared. So the take-home message is if you have now a rectangle and a parallelogram with the same dimensions, you can simply use the same formula. If we want to look at why that's the case, well, let me draw a rectangle just here and let me draw a parallelogram with the same dimensions. So it will have the same base, there's the base, and it will have the same perpendicular height. So that isn't horrendous, it's not spot on, but it's pretty good. So what I'm going to do here is go ahead and take this part of the area of the rectangle, and I'm just gonna move it over to here now, we can see that these are two identical, or if you like, congruent triangles, and put it just here. So we've got this shared area. I've taken the area of the, uh, the area of the triangle from the rectangle and put it there, and we can see that we have the same space. So nice and straightforward, just think now area of a rectangle. So let's go ahead and uh, we'll, we'll do a few. So. Here's parallelogram. Let's say that now on here, you might be given the dimensions, might be given a straight line like so, and a straight line like that. Oh, it might even be there. Do look out for when you have a straight line just here, let's put that in place. The exam or the question that you're given might have that. And let's say that this is going to be uh, 10 millimeters, and this is going to be, let's say, six millimeters then the area is simply going to be 10 times by 6 or 6 times by 10, which is going to give us 60 millimetres squared. So it really is that straightforward. Let's do some others. As you can probably see, this is straightforward, but we may as well have a bit of practice. So again, this now is an example of a parallelogram. It might be uh, a different way around, so it could be something like that. Um, if you're told it's a parallelogram, it is a parallelogram. So for example, we might be given the dimension just here. It might be something like that, and it might be something like that. So do look out, and then we'll put these on. So let's say this is going to be, we'll go for uh, 3.2 millimeters, and we'll say that this is gonna be 5.6 millimeters. 
all we would simply do is say that the area is going to be equal to 3.2 multiplied by 5.6 and we can use a calculator to do that so 3.2 multiplied by 5.6 and then just remember to put the units on it and that is going to give us 17.92 so 17.92 and that will be millimeters squared do check that the units are the same as well Okay, if we're given a parallelogram, let's go for uh, something that looks a bit like, um, let's say we've got something like this, and we're told now that uh, this here, uh, this bottom, let's put that on, we're told now that this length right here is going to be, now we'll just put that this is, for example, six centimetres, and the area is going to be equal to, let's say we've got 31.2 centimeters squared and we're asked to find the perpendicular height which is this one and let's say we're given that is h and we want to find it we simply work backwards so we can say 31.2 is equal to 6 multiplied by h so 31.2 divided by 6 is going to give us now h and you can simply uh, do that in a calculator to find the height Okay, um, let's, let's do another one. And remember that height is going to be in the units of length rather than, um, rather than uh, it's squared. It will be as a centimeter. Right, let's do this one right here. So what I'm going to do is this. I'm going to now say that uh, we've got that and what we might be given is that this let's uh let's put this on let's make something a bit more interesting let's say this is going to be a b uh c and then we'll say that this one is going to be d we might for example be told now that a b is going to be equal to three centimeters we might be told now that b c is going to be equal to eight centimeters and we might be told now that AD is going to be equal to 5 centimetres. What we might be asked to do is work out now the uh, area of this parallelogram. So with this one, we're going to need a few more skills. So let's go ahead and write this on. So A to B is going to be 3. Uh, we've got on here now B to C is going to be 8. If this is 3 and this is 8, then we could, if we wanted, put that that's going to be 11. That total length at the top, as we know that A to C would be the same as D to whatever we had here. And we've got A to D is 5 centimetres, which is this one just here. So what we have now is the slant height of this parallelogram. We don't have the perpendicular height. What we can do, though, is find the perpendicular height and the perpendicular height is going to be db or bd that is the perpendicular height so all i have here is a little right angle triangle and if you've done your work with pythagoras theorem let's just go ahead and switch this over uh, we can flip this over so uh, left to right there we go what i've got is a little right angle triangle so we can go ahead and find the perpendicular height this is five this is three this is one of our special triangles, so this height is going to be 4. If you don't know Pythagoras theorem, um, hopefully you'll learn it by the time you get to one of these questions. But all we do with Pythagoras theorem is A and B are the two short sides. C is the longer side. A squared plus B squared is equal to C squared. So what we've had with this one now is that on here, 3 squared plus B squared is equal to 5 squared. And we solve for b so we can say that this height is going to now be four so all we have here is a parallelogram and we can use the dimensions given or if you wanted to you could draw again you certainly don't need to we have a simple uh, problem now to deal with this height is going to be four centimeters so that's going to be four the base is going to be 11 so we can say that the area is simply four multiplied by 11 which is going to give us 44. And again, I always default to centimetres, so that will be centimetres squared. It's not, it's not a case that it's always going to be centimetres. Um, but as you can see, 
really is straightforward. If you know the area of a rectangle and you understand the difference of what's happened here, then that's the area of a parallelogram.